friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead with a weekend tea break. Okay, this is take three. I have tried three times to talk about what I want to talk about. Do you remember when my three terabyte external hard drive crashed? On that external hard drive was um, all the footage from my nephew's wedding that I was able to do. And it found out, obviously, they weren't... Um, they didn't have a videographer at the wedding and I was wanted to make them like a video, a wedding video for their anniversary this year. So I talked about Best Buy saying, well, it starts at $300, runs up to $1,400 and there's no guarantee we can recover the data. So I let it go for now. I let it, I let it sit. So my niece who married my nephew that didn't sound right Jackie who married my nephew Andrew um, said that she had some friends who were technically inclined and you know quite geeky that maybe they could fix it so I sent it to her and I sent it in the box of my brand new 8 terabyte hard drive uh, external hard drive I sent it in that box without thinking that the eight terabyte one, it's brand new, it should work, right? So I sent it away, sent the box away. And right away, I wasn't sure if the eight terabyte hard drive was working properly or if it was my computer, the port that it was plugged into. Because you know this sound? That's when you unplug something and when you plug something in, it goes, now, I don't know if you could hear that or not, but it goes dee 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 when you plug it in, and it goes da 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 when you unplug it. And what was happening was um, my 8 terabyte one would, I would plug it in, and it would go da 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 I was just heartbroken because now I got a three terabyte hard drive that I've sent to Toronto, an eight terabyte one that I don't want to use because I'm not sure it's working correctly. And my whole routine of how I do videos and video editing and everything is completely, completely off kilter, right? Because the way I would do things is I would film and I always film more than enough because I may miss something it's just the way it works I film everything and then I take what I want for it but I always kept the raw footage on an external hard drive I had the one terabyte bought the three when the one got full and then when the three started to crash bought the eight to try and get it on to the from the three to the eight and the eight's not working properly now I got a phone call from my niece saying that um, the problem was physical and that she had been hearing that, they, that her friends couldn't fix it and she phoned Best Buy and Best Buy she started checking reviews and apparently when they send them out they charge the money but they don't necessarily come back there's no guarantee and a lot, most of the time the reviews are they would come back but they were working like crap. Like you could get your stuff off them, but the, the, the machine itself was garbage after, after the fact, right? So she said to me, there is a company that recovers the data from black boxes, from airplanes, crashes, and all that stuff. She said, and the good news is that they, we can send it to them and they'll assess it and it'll only cost $60 for them to assess whether they can recover the data or not. And if they can recover the data, then they give you the option of paying the $800 to get the data. Well, I have three years worth of work on that external hard drive and all of the wedding footage and they didn't have a videographer. I'm the only one who videotaped the entire wedding. So Jackie phoned me and said, Aunt Bev, we'll, we'll gladly pay for half. We'll gladly pay for half. I said, no, do it. Absolutely do it. Uh, I mean, I, I, I need that footage. There are people 
and scenes and stuff there are from the wedding alone um for instance my nephew's aunt uh noreen now my nephew when my sister married um her her first husband i was only eight when they got married and he was also friends with my eldest brother in high school <coughs> so i've known this this man all my life so he wasn't just a brother-in-law he's my brother and his sister their family became a part of our family because we were all pretty tight-knit even with the in-laws um so marty's sister developed um cancer and it was terminal but she made it to the wedding but she passed away two weeks after i i got her and andrew on that video i mean that alone to me is priceless so anyway i said go ahead and do that but now i'm dealing with i'm left to deal with the eight terabyte external hard drive that doesn't work and somebody explained it to me they said don't buy big storage compartments break it up don't put all this what made sense to me this is what i heard folks don't put all your eggs in one basket if you drop the basket or the basket breaks or the handle falls off all the eggs are gone well that made perfect sense but i'm still left with an eight terabyte hard drive that i paid i think 249 dollars for and it's not sure it's working and i don't have the receipt well i i could get the receipt because i i bought it with a best buy card because i can get it no money down and pay it off before the interest is due right so there they could look up the receipt for that but i bought it and i bought it online but i didn't have the original box or packaging or anything i only had the cord the usb cord and it and so I phoned them and said, look, I bought it at the end of January. And I had looked online and it said, you know, 30 days, 14 days. And he, they told me, if it is defective, okay, we'll replace it. You know, we can't give you your money back, but we will, you know, we will exchange it. So I said, good. So I got in there and I made sure I got in time before that guy who gave me that information left his shift. <laughs> I wasn't dealing with somebody who didn't know the story, right? And uh, sure enough, it was defective. I couldn't get my stuff off of it, but it was defective. And what I chose to do was buy two, two terabyte ones. Now, yes, it's not eight terabytes of storage, but right now I got no storage. So except what's on my computer and the reason i bought these is because a they're smaller they don't need a secondary power source like the bigger ones you had to plug them into an electrical source this will run off of your usb port and they're smaller and they're portable so i bought two and all i'm doing is i wrote on the front of one with my bronze sharpie um i i wrote on the front you know number one and this one i'm just going to keep until that one's full uh i will take it out and test it to make sure it works but i was never so relieved never so relieved now we're just hoping against hope that we can get the data off the first one does that make any sense that makes sense I hope that makes sense. So anyway, there's that. Now it's date night in the motor coach. And Papa's out there installing a radio because the radio that was in it uh, didn't get FM. So he's, you know, out there installing that. And we, we really want to go places, okay? We just can't afford it right now. Our gas is right now, I just... We just filled up the truck and we got a deal. A dollar twenty-three a liter. Okay? Dollar twenty-three a liter, folks. For my American friends, let me do the math for you here. Dollar, and this was the cheapest we could find. Dollar twenty-three times, I think it's three 
0.7 equals. That's 4.55 a gallon for my American friends. Okay, and in Ottawa is a dollar thirty a liter. So, um, but so we can't really go anywhere. But there's also the fact that we've Papa has booked uh, a long weekend. He's booked the Friday and the Monday, or he's getting off early the Friday and he's taking the Monday off. And we're going to Algonquin Park in June because we want to see how the motor coach behaves. You know, fairly close to home. I think it's only three four hours away before we take it on any extended trips. Now, I'm shooting for Florida for Christmas. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, but this year, I don't want to be here. I just, I talked to Briar and asked how he felt, and because he's the lonely chick. Hey, he's the he's the the single chick in my nest, and, or out of the nest. And he uh, he said, "Mom, I did it in Toronto when I couldn't come home." He said, "It's not a big deal. If I spend Christmas Day eating pizza and playing video games, he said, it's honestly, Mom, I don't have the emotional commitment to Christmas that you do." He said, "I'm a grown man. I don't have kids. I don't even have a girlfriend. It's all good." And there's also the fact that he lives in, in the in-law suite in his best friend's, Austin's parents' house. So, and, and they, they're, Austin's like one of my kids and Briar's like one of their kids. Again, we have this community, it takes a community to raise kids, right? So I know that he wouldn't be alone for Christmas Day if he didn't want to be at all, right? So uh, I said to Howie, I want to go to Florida for Christmas this year. Not leave, like, do all this Christmas stuff, have a nap while they pack the tree up on box, undecorate the tree on Boxing Day, and then boom, go. I, I missed Christmas. I still don't remember much about Christmas altogether because it was just, just a blur for me. But I'd like to go down the week before, like, leave the week before maybe make a couple of stops along the way, visit some people, spend a week in Florida and take a different route coming home just for the heck of it. Wouldn't that be awesome? I mean, on my dashboard, I could fit a three foot Christmas tree on my dashboard of my motor coach. So I'm thinking I'll just butcher my Christmas turkey a little smaller and uh, yeah, but, oh, you're going to love this. Oh, hush up. It's me. Can you see this, folks? It says Tennessee, Florida, Georgia, gas money. Listen, folks, and it's only that full. But unlike my American friends and family, we have one dollar and two dollar coins so any change i've said to howie any change you get put in the old coke can and when the coke can when the coke can got this full i counted it and it was like 170 dollars so if mind you i've been saving that change for over a year but now we have something to save towards so when i fill that gas can we are out of here maybe florida Maybe Tennessee, maybe Kentucky, you never know. But one thing's for sure, it's just going to be Papa and I this year. Daddy and I need a vacation alone in our motor coach. But tonight, we, we've been having fun. We, we are feeling its limitations and its comfort zones and all that stuff. So... I think it, you know, some people are going to think we're nuts, but we have Friday night or Saturday night, date night in the motor coach. Tonight, we're going to watch Jumanji and eat um, shawarmas. Shawarma is a flatbread, um, I don't know which one's which. One's Lebanese, one's, they're all different, they all have their different takes, but it's got pickled turnip and lettuce and vegetables and, you know, rotisserie cooked chicken and oh, it's just awesome so um, yeah it's time for supper so uh that's what's going on oh 
I have uh, two baby turkeys. I'm going to be doing a video on that. One from one hatch. Um, the one turkey, the first turkey that hatched, he is a bourbon red Narragansett cross. Well, Narragansett Royal Palm, one half, and bourbon red the other. And if it's a Tom, I'm keeping him because Big Red is, he's, you know, he's only shooting 50% right now, which means he's getting old. Um, although bringing the Spanish black in and putting him in a separate pen, whoo, Howie had to take, you know, those big black floor mats you get at Lowe's or, or home hardware or home Depot or whatever with the rubber backing for your front entrance way. Howie had to steal mine, take it out and staple it because even though there were wood slats between the two pens, the Turkey Toms were fighting bloody <laughs> so the girls are uh the girls are getting all that attention whoever suggested that i keep big red and see how he does with another tom in the same barn great idea but big red is getting old and um so if my little bourbon red narragansett cross is a male he will surface all three of my bourbon red bourbon red hens next year because he's not related to any of them he had a narragansett royal palm cross mom and a bourbon red dad so yeah he's only half bourbon red but you know the the girls he'll be talking to are all bourbon red and my spanish black is staying with my girls so i can always you know switch out which is really good which is really good and i got a narragansett Spanish black already from the incubator that I accidentally unplugged and the all the eggs went cold cold for hours like cold to the touch feeling like they came out of the fridge and I listened to Papa and he said no nope, plug it back in and just give them a chance right I got one chick a turkey pulled a Narragansett Spanish black cross and he is adorable but that's another video and it's coming all right this is the Miss Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying we got so much to do but you know what shoot shoot for us pray pray we make Florida for Christmas because wouldn't that be fun maybe we could do like a Christmas meetup maybe no that's in Michigan who knows where we'll land Take care. God bless.